Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Gitasha Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 10th of March. India repatriates two Pakistanis arrested over militant attack connection. Baloch activists demand separate independent Balochistan. And now for all the details. India on Friday repatriated two Pakistani nationals who were arrested by the National Investigation Agency or NIA in a connection with the terror attack on Indian Army Brigade headquarters in northern Jammu and Kashmir province last year. They were released as no evidence was found against the duo. Pakistani teenagers Faisal Awan and Ehsan Khurshid were accused of having served as guides for the terrorists who attacked an Indian army base in Uri town of northern Jammu and Kashmir province. National Investigation Agency or NIA handed them over to the Army 16 Corps headquarters for sending them back to Pakistani authorities. Both the teenagers were elated to head home from India's border town of Atari. बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है वैसे ही 5 6 महीने तक 7 8 महीने तक जब बंदा अपने घर को जाता है तो पहली مرتبہ जब देखता है तो उसको अपने घर में बहुत ज्यादा खुशी महसूस होती है दिल में An investigation carried out by the NIA revealed that the two suspects had crossed over to the Indian side after altercation with their parents due to pressure of studies Evidence collected in the form of statements, technical analysis of their mobile phones, seized GPS devices and other circumstantial evidence collected by the investigation agency did not reveal any linkage of the suspects with the Uri attackers. Meanwhile, Faiz Saroni, Chief of Royal Court of Jordan, met Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday. He is on a four-day visit to India. During his tour, he met Defence Minister Manohar Parikar and Vice President Hamid Ansari. Tarone will also be visiting Agra besides attending a programme organised by the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry in the national capital. He will deliver a lecture on global war on terrorism and its implication on Middle East region and beyond at the Indian Council for World Affairs. Tibetan activists staged demonstration outside the Chinese embassy in the Indian capital, New Delhi, to mark the Tibetan Uprising Day on Friday. Members of the Tibetan Youth Congress gathered outside the Chinese embassy in capital, New Delhi, to mark the Tibetan Uprising Day on Friday. It is the 58th anniversary of the failed Tibetan uprising against Chinese rule. Activists raised slogans against what they call the illegal Chinese occupation of Tibet and were later detained by the police. And we uh, hold protests and events uh, to raise awareness about what's going on inside Tibet because uh, since the illegal occupation of Tibet, 1.2 million Tibetans have died and the Tibetan situation is perhaps uh, the most critical in its history. So we are here to tell the Chinese uh, consulate and the Chinese embassy that the Tibetan people's struggle will never die. On March 10, 1959, a revolt broke out in the Tibetan capital of Lhasa where thousands of Tibetans surrounded their spiritual leader, the 14th Dalai Lama, in order to protect him from being abducted by the Chinese army. Baloch Republican Party held a demonstration in front of the UN office in Geneva to highlight the atrocities meted on the people of southwestern Balochistan province by the Pakistani forces. Members of Baloch Republican Party held a protest march from Geneva City to the UN office to highlight the plight of its people in southwestern Balochistan province. Shouting slogans, Baloch activists demanded an independent Balochistan free from the clutches of Pakistan. They said nearly 300 people, mostly women and children, have been abducted by the Pakistani forces this year during military operations. Uh, indiscriminately targeting civilians, uh, mostly women and children, in a strategy uh, to, to counter the Baloch liberation movement, which is a democratic and peaceful movement for Baloch rights 
and the freedom of Balochistan from illegal and uh, unjustified occupation of Pakistan state. The protesters demanded UN intervention into the matter and provide justice to its people. They also said that multi-billion dollar projects under China-Pakistan Economic Corridor or CPEC were only to exploit the natural resources of Balochistan. We have also conveyed our, men, uh, our message to China, which is uh, uh, becoming a partner in crime with Pakistan and supporting Pakistan with $46 billion aid in form of uh, the so-called China-Pakistan Economic Corridor uh, to, to exploit the land and natural resources of the Baloch people. So we have demanded from the UN to wake up. Meanwhile, similar demonstrations were held by Balochistan National Party and Baloch Students' Organization in Khuzdar city of Balochistan, demanding free Baloch nation. They also demanded safe recovery of missing Baloch persons who have been targeted by Pakistani forces. Moving on to news from Nepal, a speeding and overcrowded bus in Nepal swerved off the road and plunged into a stream, killing 25 people and injured dozens. Though cause of the accident is not yet known, officials allege high speed and carrying passengers beyond its capacity as the main factor. An overcrowded bus veered off a hilly road in West Nepal, killing 25 people and injuring dozens on Thursday, police officials said. The bus, packed with villagers, fell 650 feet into a river in Jajar Kot, 220 miles west of capital Kathmandu. The cause of the incident was not immediately known. According to reports, security personnel reached the incident site and carried out a rescue operation with the help of local people. The injured were evacuated to a local hospital. Road crashes, which are common in Nepal, are often blamed on poor road conditions and poorly maintained vehicles. Youngsters, especially the girls in Afghanistan, are slowly rising up to the challenge of making their name in the field of sports. Be it wushu, freestyle cycling or even fencing that has become popular among the girls. In Afghanistan, women generally have a tough time practicing sports. A group of girls have taken the sport of fencing, which only a few Afghans have even heard about 15 years ago. It takes special dedication to put in the hours needed to do well all the more in a sport like fencing. The trainer added that they had to face many hassles to play the sport which came to Afghanistan in 2004. But he has big ambitions and hopes his team will win medals for Afghanistan at the next South Asian Games. ما در افغانستان وجود نداره لباس و کمبودی لباس داریم و کمبودی همین مکان جایی که شما میبینین باید یک جمناسیوم در اختیار ما باشه اما متاسفانه که بازم این مشکلاتی که ما داریم بازم خوشبختانه برتان بگیم که در این مشکلاتی که ما داریم لوازم شمشیر مکان درست که نداریم بازم توانستیم که از خارج ما دستاورده خوبی داشته باشیم Although public attitude has shifted since Taliban's hardline Islamist rule was toppled more than 15 years ago, many people in Afghanistan still disapprove of women and girls taking part in activities outside the home. This has severely limited the opportunities for those who want to get involved in sports or other physical pursuits. With festival of colors, holy round the corner people across India have started soaking in colors. Holi is a Hindu festival and marks the onset of spring. Widows in India's northern Vrindavan city who traditionally have to wear white celebrated ahead of the traditional arrival of spring by dancing in colorful powder. According to ancient Indian traditions, widows are barred from participating in any celebrations as their presence is considered ominous. However, a hermitage in Vrindavan run by a non-profit over the years has been working towards the emancipation of widows from the mindset of the society by organizing holy celebrations and encourage them to live life to the fullest. <laughs> बाबूजी हमको रंग बदल दिया 
विधवा माई का रंग छोड़ने नहीं देती है तो बाबूजी वाले नहीं हम बदल देगा Meanwhile, Varanasi city saw a unique Holi celebration as sadhus or Holi Hindu men and devotees daubed each other with ashes from pyres at Manikarnika Ghat, bank of river Ganges, where Hindus cremate their dead. Devotees played pellet drums and danced as they celebrated Amit pyres. ये काफी प्राचीन परंपरा काशी की रही है कि बाबा भोले रात अपने भक्तों जो भूत प्रेत पिताच हैं उनके साथ होली खेलने महासमदान पे आते हैं। Holi is one of the most awaited festivals of India. Though it is a single day affair elsewhere in India, it lasts for about ten days in some parts of the country. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. India repatriates two Pakistanis arrested over militant attack connection. Baloch activists demand separate independent Balochistan. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night.